हेलो हेलो हाय रेशमा हेलो मुकुल मैम हेलो सर हेलो रेशमा मैम हेलो एंड दोस आर ऑल हियर जॉइनिंग अस लाइव फ्रॉम वेयर एवर यू आर गुड इवनिंग गुड आफ्टरनून एंड गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू एंड वी आर हियर बैक अगेन विद आवर जीईजी अहमदाबाद एंड पुणे सेशन फॉर स्पेशली फॉर आवर सब्जेक्ट एजुकेटर्स यस सो वी हैव टू हैव टुडे सेशन that's uh, particularly for the maths subject and uh, mm-hmm. we are overjoyed to have with us ma'am shall we introduce our yeah we have a couple of things uh, that our learn captain wants to share with yes, um, yes. rgg members and those who are joining go ahead mukul ma'am uh, yes uh, so as you all know i am sharing uh, tips and tricks on tuesdays so uh, please watch that videos and if you want me to share something uh, some uh, topics or some tools if you want please share in the chat so that i will give you tips on that and uh, areshma ma'am uh, about instagram are you yes, telling and now we are on instagram only we are trying to keep up with all social media with which all you educators are following to give you those tips and tricks and new things that we are planning to do so make sure to follow our instagram and i'll post all the links there and whatever mukul ma'am makes short videos and uh, tips for all you educators we will be posting it there as well so welcome all of you and uh, just to tell you vishal sir myself mukul ma'am we both are math educators yes. so we have we are and very excited i'm i'm a math learner <laughs> <laughs> yeah and that is why we are actually very excited because we have always had a uh, trouble when we went online or even in classroom with this subject because i don't know why but the math subject is the most hardest subject uh, that yes. students find actually actually because of i think lack of interest and uh, that fear is there about mathematics and uh, then because of that uh, that fear the subject is not uh, interesting so that to create interest in the subject is major challenge for math teachers yeah maybe we can ask our audience also that why do you think math is the hardest subject and uh, why do students find it so hard and what my observation is so please go ahead and type it in the chat uh, what is something that is missing in math that we teachers can help students understand so my observation is because math is a very abstract subject i have students yes. who ask me why are we doing this are we really going to mm. use it in our uh, life any time so yes, yes abstractness yes. so uh, it is it is very important for us to show students real life examples or to show how to use and how to create these things especially when we are now remote learning so uh, should we call our uh, uh, session expert yeah, yeah, yes 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 hello good evening ma'am. everyone hello. hello 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 everyone hello ma'am mukul hello. hello reshma ma'am hello hello, hello. so uh, quickly evening, i will ma'am. introduce please namrata ma'am uh, yes. so today our session expert is mrs namrata kanade madam she she has 15 years of teaching experience she is msc bed from mumbai university and she is google educator level 1 she has taught mathematics to bcom students bca and mca students she has teaching experience of secondary and junior college uh, students of ssc board and cbsc board she has also worked as a e learning in in a e learning company as content author currently she is teaching in भारतीय विद्या भवन परांजपे विद्या मंदिर पुणे इन सेकेंडरी सेक्शन शी लव्स मैथमेटिक्स एंड शी लव्स एक्सप्लोरिंग न्यू टूल्स सो नाउ आई रिक्वेस्ट नम्रता मैडम टू टेक ओवर थैंक यू एवरीवन सो आई वुड लाइक टू शेयर दैट दो इट इज अ हार्ड और एब्सट्रैक्ट सब्जेक्ट वी ऑल कैन मेक इट फन फॉर आवर चिल्ड्रेन एंड मेक इट बेस्ट आउट ऑफ इट सो लेट मी स्टार्ट विद द thing which i want to share with you without wasting time awesome so vishal sir should we go backstage yeah, and we, we should be at the next stage yeah okay all and the best, uh, all the best namrata ma'am we will be there thank anytime you, you thank need you. us just give us a call okay ma'am thank you so hello every, hello everyone 
I love geometry. So today I'm going to show you uh, the two different apps which are actually make everyone uh, learn this thing very with uh, very much fun. So love ge geometry with MathsPad and Com Robo Compass. So the, the first tool I wish to show you all is MathsPad. So these are the constructions which we ask our children to do in uh, their normal gen uh, geometry period. And nowadays it is becoming difficult for us. So many a times the teacher like us who don't have uh, known about any tools, what they do is they just show the um, whiteboard behind and they try to project everything in front of the children by doing the things on the whiteboard and the children has to, has to learn that. So sometimes it is difficult because the camera is not adjusted properly. So the uh, images are also blur. So, so we can't do it. And sometimes it is uh, we show the videos to the children. And after watching videos also for the construction purpose, the doubts for the children are not cleared. So here is a tool uh, which help you to do these kind of constructions uh, in your uh, class. So I'll show you, this is a MathsPad screen, which I'm showing it to you. So I'll quickly take you there. So I'm just showing you, uh, let me show you how to go about MathsPad. So what you will do is just type in your chat box uh, or Google search tool that mathspad.co.uk construction, or you just type uh, mathspad.co co.uk then you will get to different screen but i am de uh, deliberately taking it as a construction so that uh, you will see the first construction tool so on the first search they are giving you construction tool that is mathspad.co.uk if you click on this it will take you to this page now this is a very interactive tool just by uh, tapping each tap here you will be able to understand all the things now, how I'm going to use this tool in my class. So first thing, I'll share my screen with my children the way we are doing it now. And you will show them how you are doing. So they can also learn along with you. And they will construct do the constructions for you. So let me show you one, uh, one by one. So first, I'm not going to this question tab. I'm just going to this one. So this tab just defines the how thick the length of uh, uh, line which you want to draw so uh, that you can define here the second tab gives you the color which you want to use so while showing the arcs you can use a different color while showing the angle also you can use the different colors so that it will be easy for the children to understand then the next thing is this is two dots so if i have two dots i can join them with this i'm just sh showing you first the tools and then i'll uh, show you how how they work this is a pen tool, so it has to write on your screen. And if I'm selecting this pen tool, and if I select the color, the pencil will turn to that color. So you have option of changing the color of your pencil also. So I'm keeping timing it as black only. So if you have to remove this pencil, you have to again click it back there itself. So if I'm cl clicking it, it will be on all the time. So if I don't want to use this pencil, I'll just go back to the same tab and I'll just click there. So this pencil tool is over. And now just my mouse is just showing me the arrow. Now there is a this compass, which is there. Now you all know this compass has uh, how to use it. So first of all, if I'm this uh, arm of my compass, I can just, you have to click your mouse button and just drag it here and there so it can move to, on your screen everywhere. This is the first thing. Now, if I don't want this as radius, just pull it. Pull your pencil like this. So it can give you the radius. Now, right now it is flexible. So it is moving here and there. So if I don't want, uh, this is my radius which I want, then I'll just click on this lock. So it locks my compass for me. This is the radius which I want. So now if I don't want it, uh, the pencil here, because the radius which I have taken is bigger, so let me take it smaller one and lock the compass. Now what I'll do, I'm again taking because uh, hit here. Now how to rotate it. So when I'm uh, just hovering here on the main tip of the tool, uh, when we use compass, 
we are generally rotated using this pen, this tab, isn't it? So when you are rotating, see it is showing you the two black arrows. See here, are you able to see that? So there are two arrows. So this is going to allow you to draw the construction. So I'm going to take this. So it is plotting a point and just I'm going to rotate it like this. So this just draws the circle for me. So if I don't, I want to uh, draw another circle, I'm going to remove this hand only. So it is allowing me to change the position of my pointer. And now I can place it here. If I want, I can change the color of my uh, pencil. And again, now the position is fixed. So again, I'll take it here, the arrow, and I'll start drawing the circle, one more circle. So this is intersection of two circles, which you have shown. So you can, do, uh, what you can do is in your, this is an easy tip for everyone. If you are uh, using the PowerPoint at that time, many a times drawing this figures is difficult. So you can draw these figures here, take a snapshot of this and you can paste it in your PowerPoint. So this will help you. So if I don't want my, uh, this compass right now, I can again go back here on the same tab where there was a compass. I'll just go there and I'll, so my compass is removed. So is it clear with, with all of you, I think? So now I'll clear my screen for the time being so I can get a lot of space. So if I clear the screen, now my screen is empty. So CLR is for clearing the screen. Now, let me show you this pencil tool again. So let me take my pencil uh, and change my color to black. So now it is showing me this one. So, uh, let me click it again back here. So it is getting removed. So don't worry, you have to, uh, if it is not going, just click on that tap again and it will remove. So I'm clicking now on my pencil. I'm placing two dots here. So let me draw the line. So there is a ruler here. So this is your ruler. So I can place it here on the point zero and five. So there will be thing, uh, if I'm drawing the line like this, so two points may not, may not be on the same uh, like horizontal line. So your scale also you can move. See the two uh, circling arrows are allowing you to rotate your scale also. So now I'm just rotating so that these two points are collinear. So now I'll use my pencil again and I'll draw the line. So say I'm draw, I have drawn the five centimeters line. And now if I don't want the scale, I can place it again back. And with this pencil, you can write the labeling like AB is the line segment of five centimeter length. So this is how you can show your children how to draw a line segment. But this is not the only way in which you can do. So let me take show you another way. Uh, suppose, let it be, I'll show you one more thing. So I'm taking the protractor here. Now see, this protractor is also, if I just uh, keep my mouse clicked and I can drag and drop it anywhere you I want. Now, see here, protractor numbers. And now if I, this, just moving this tab, see how big your protractor is become, becoming. So it is showing you all the details. So if I want to teach any child how to use your protractor, in this case, I can use this compass with say visibility and means I'll clear the screen at that time and I can uh, show them that it is going from 0 to 120 from the inner scale and from outer scale it is going from 0 to 180. So which scale to use that can be also shared with your children. So I'm just reducing it the size so that I, it will be fitting on my figure. So suppose I want to draw this angle, but still you can see it is not coinciding with the horizontal. So again, there are two circles and arrows which will allow me to adjust as per my line. So you'll tell your children that it is now attached, means aligning with the zero of my angle. And now you can take the pencil again. Suppose I want to draw a major angle, say 65 degrees or say 45 degrees. I'll go, to, I'll just ask them to count to 0, 20, 30, 40, 45. So I'll get go at 45 degrees 
and I'll mark this point. So I don't need protractor now. I've marked my angle to be 45 degrees. So I'll just click back 45 degrees. Now comes this tool where there are two dots are joined. So this is a very useful tool while drawing the angle. So you cannot, if your scale is not proper, so it is not giving you the line. So this is the best tool. So I'll just, this cross, which is coming right now, I'll place it at point A and I'll just drag this line to 45 degrees and you can extend it. So my angle is drawn. Again, I'll write this angle as 45 degrees. This is done. So this is how you can draw the different angles also. So if I suppose want to draw the angle bisector. So again, the same thing, suppose of angle A, then I'll take my compass here. Now, just always remember that you have to keep your pointer here. You have to fix your radius. So I'm just changing it right now for drawing the arcs. Again, fixing it. Now, while rotating, what happens? It draws the whole circle. So take your pencil just by uh, now just see how it is moving fast so slowly you can take it to the position where you want it so suppose i want it uh, here from here i want to draw the arc so now i'll start here and it draws the arc from me now i've chosen the same color that is why it is looking like this now let me change change the color of my pencil to red now i'm just moving this arm and keeping it on this so I'm, I'm not changing my color now. So I have kept my pointer here. And now I don't want to draw the arc here, isn't it? I want to draw it above. So I'll first take my pencil above. And then I'll start drawing the arc. So my arc will be looking nice. So you, uh, the construction which you are doing, that will also look nice. And same thing, I'll place the pointer here. I'll take my pencil to this position again. And I'll start drawing another arc. So these two arcs are drawn by now. So I don't need my compass. So I'm just clicking it back. So when I'm changing the color, again, it is showing me the color of my uh, compass, which I, I, I have taken. So you can just go back to compass and change it. So it is changing the color of your compass. Now I want to join a point to this intersection of two arcs. So I'll simply take this tool where I'm joining the this, sorry, when I'm joining this one, see now if I'm making mistakes, what I can do is is undo button. So it is removing what my, whatever mistakes I have made. So I'll just take this again tool, take it at point A and just drag it like this. So now everyone is observing what you are doing, how it is drawn and side by side, you can provide them with the instructions that draw the arrows to this because this angle and so on. And you can label them with this. Whatever you think you want to teach can be taught using this to your children. Now I have not shown you this question mark button. So question mark button is always like anyone needs a help. So they are telling you how to use this compass. So they are writing drag the arm of the arm to move the pencil. Here to lock the compass, here to lock the compass. Drag this arm to move the whole compass and drag the top of the compass to draw, draw an arc. I hope I have explained you all the tools which this MathsPad is providing us. So we can teach this also to our children and ask them to make some patterns and ask them uh, share some Jamboard with the children so that they can also, or any whiteboard which you are using in your school or uh, over there and ask them to paste their, uh, what I can say, the constructions and everything so that you can also go through it. Uh, so can I ask uh, Mukul ma'am to just share the uh, uh, Jamboard with the, uh, the, uh, uh, the people over there who are present. So I'll, I'll show it to you. Suppose I want to, I'm constructing something different. So let me take, I want to construct a star. So I'm just drawing this line, this line again, these two lines. So I've drawn this. Again, I'm taking this. So different patterns can be drawn. This is a simple pattern which I'm drawing right now for all of you. So I've drawn this pattern. 
Now I'll simply use my snipping tool, which you all must be familiar by now. So I'll do the rectangular snip and I can just take a picture of my star. Now, uh, I hope the Mukul teacher has shared the link with all of you. Yes, Namrata ma'am. Uh, Mukul ma'am has shared the link. And it is really interesting the way you showed how to do geometry constructions, which has been so hard in the last year. Because I remember the students who are using the tools for the first time, they don't even know how to hold a compass because they are not in school and uh, they're not able to do it. So yes, yeah. we have shared the Jamboard link and uh, please give it a try because it will need a little bit of practice of how you can hold the compass, how you can move the pencil and how the arc works. So that is why um, it's a great practice and let us all create some patterns together and share it on the Jamboard. Uh, so Mukul ma'am has pasted the link. So just like uh, Namrata ma'am said that uh, snip, your, uh, snip your picture or the pattern that you made and then just go ahead and upload it as an image onto the Jamboard. So uh, thank you, Namrata ma'am, and you can continue. Yeah, thank you, Darishma ma'am. So this is a uh, Jamboard right now, which a Mukul teacher has shown to you. So Google provides you with the Jamboard, which you can use all the time for sharing with your children also. So on the Jamboard, they are providing you with 20 pages. This is a pattern which I have constructed uh, today uh, in the afternoon for all of you. So this beautiful images you can construct. So now suppose this page is empty. So what I can do is the right now on my snipping tool, I have taken this star. So I can just copy that star and just paste it here. It is sharing the your star and you can move it from here to there. Now just as the uh, our uh, a maths pad is allowing you to write so you can use pen here also this is a uh, marker which i'll use and i'll just write my name here like namrata so this is a creation by namrata so you can also add your creations into this jamboard so you have so many pages so you can in the meanwhile when the session is going on you can create your patterns and you can share it with us so let me show you how MathsPad is useful for us. So let me go to again to my construction tool again. So I'm clearing this now. Uh, shall I give you time for doing your patterns or shall I continue, uh, Reshma, ma'am? Uh, so while while uh, teachers are trying, maybe we can give them five minutes to give it a try and create patterns. Till then, uh, there are a couple of questions. That is there okay. a login required to use this app? No, there is no login required on this app. And this is can, free. Mm -hmm. Perfect. And can it be used on the phones? Yes, we can use it on the mobile phones. Okay. So we can just use our stylus or our hand to just make the, pick the yes. tools and draw, right? Correct. You okay. can do that. Awesome. One more last question is there that about MathPad is how can we save the work? Is there a way that we can save what we made? Yes, there is a way actually this login, those who do the login for MathsPad, their uh, constructions will be saved in their accounts because they are login in MathsPad. Otherwise, you have to just uh, take a uh, snapshot the way I have taken and keep it with you. That is the one thing you can do. Okay. And uh, this is a free app, right? Anybody can use it. Yeah, anyone. Yeah, it is a free app. Anybody can use it. So just give it a try. Explore different tabs on that math pad and uh, you will be able to see what all things can be done. And yeah. uh, is there an eraser there? That's a good question for John. No, there is no eraser. Huh? You have to just undo this uh, undo button is our helper, which okay. will help you to just remove the things which we made wrong. Okay. So the last thing that we did and we want to erase it, we can just undo it. Yeah. Okay. Um, thank you. And uh, you can continue Namrata ma'am and Whenever uh, any educators here who wants to give it a try or even teach students how to use it so they can actually submit their assignments also really nicely. So they can even do it online. So and then yeah. you can continue, Namrata ma'am, because our educators are very excited to see what next you are going to show. So now this MathsPad has so many. I got crazy on that day when I searched all this MathsPad. So just click this more interactive tools. 
So when I click this more attractive tools, it is asking me welcome to Matchpad. So log in. I'll show you all the things. So uh, it has some cost which you have to pay and everything for creating our, your account and password. So once you create your account, everything will be free for you. So now let's see all the free, free, free for us. Okay. So please continue. It is like plans and elevations. So it is free here. So I'll click that. So when I click that free part, it opens into the tab, new tab. So now this tab is opened. So this is uh, really useful for the reasoning per persons. Generally, what is the per perspective? Uh, if I have arranged the blocks like this, from the top, what will be the view? From this side, what will be the view? From this side, what is the view? So this uh, the one which you are taking from the top is the plan view. Fr now, here they have hided it. So when uh, suppose if I say hide, so it will not show. But if I uh, click it, it will show it to you. Similarly, front elevations hide. And this is also hide. So hide button is for just showing you. Now see here, there are two buttons, build and remove. So if I want to build, I can build. So this cross which is coming you is allowing me to build. So is my this is changing plan view. You can just go on adding this. So I think it is good for architecture people who always require a perspective in every direction. So they can use it. So see how it looks from the top, from this side and from that side. So front elevation, side elevation, and plan view. So and this is cube building. And if I need cuboids, so this will be a cuboid. Now, uh, uh, now see right now I can rotate it also. Now. I have to just some sometimes you have to just uh, how to add them that I have not still found out. But you uh, this green things have something might be uh, which will help us to do that. So it is with the cuboid, and earlier one was with the cube building. So they might not be giving us because it is free. It could be the reason I don't know about that. But we, we you all can explore about it. And if I say remove, so. I can remove this. So I'm removing the building. So what is remaining is this thing. So this is how it is interactive for everyone. So you can show them reasoning. How will it look and everything with this plans and elevations. So let me go back again to the same thing. Now they are showing you video here also. So how you can do all these things. So we we'll video for you to understand. Now I like to introduce to you graphing tool also here. So once I click on that, it is giving me so many functions which I can use. Yeah. Two untitled ones are just loading. So this is a graphing tool. Now it is very useful for all the maths educators, science educators, physics, history, everyone. It is because they always like to draw the graphs. So now uh, I'll show you just few of the things. This is uh, just to move your graph. Plus and minus, you all must be knowing just to zoom in and zoom out. This is for just st stretching. I'll show you that function later on. Then this is the cross. So suppose I want to mark this point. So it is marking those points for everyone. So when I'm teaching coordinate geometry, where I should plot the point, that could be the question. But now some of you might be asked, thinking that whether there are no between numbers are shown here and what should I do? So I'll give the answer within a few minutes. So just give me a minute. So I'm just removing the tab. The way we are doing for all the maths pad things is just if I don't want that uh, thing to work, I'll just click it black back onto that. So here again, joining two crosses. So I can just draw a line passing through that. So it will just line, draw the line. Again, this one is allowing you to draw the lines the way you want. So I'm here again undo button. So I don't want this line. So you can do undo. So right now I have just cleared. And this is again for colors. So I can change the colors here. Green, blue. And now I have taken the blue only. So let me take red. So I can, these things will come in red. So let me clear the screen. Now let me show you how to draw the graphs here. So see here. 
it is a tab where it is showing the grids. So I'll click that. So it is opening the things which are different. So this is a scale tab. So here where you want, how you want your y-axis, which number should be shown onto that. So that scale is given. So I can change it. See, they are opening the keyboard for you from here also. And you can use the keyboard from your from your uh, laptop or, or computer which you are taking. Now, when I'm clicking it, major steps. So here, these are the major steps. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 15, 14. So I can make it to 1. So the numbers will appear like this. Now, minor steps. So minor steps means the lines which you want between the two numbers. So let me do it as 10. If I click, just one minute, this tab is open. So minus 5 to 5 and major step is 1. See here, they have changed it. So I'm not digging this as minor steps. Let me take it as 0.1. So see, now the grid lines are appearing on your screen. But now my x-axis is not showing anything, isn't it? So what I'll do, this is x line. Here you can arrange your numbers. Again, change the x values which I want. Say it takes from 5 to minus 5. I'm removing them. So 5 to minus 5. Major steps, I want one only. And uh, say minor steps. Why I'm taking it as 0.1? Because the that gap is divided into 10 parts. So one line will be 0.1. So that way you are arranging it. So see, now your graph is drawn. Now I have take, uh, I have not taken it till 15, but it has taken it all automatically. So let me, uh, I, I have made a mistake there. I have written minus 5 to minus 5, which was wrong. So I have to write minus 5 to, say, 5. Then it will be fine. Is it OK? Is it OK for everyone? Uh, it is like in a class we ask that, uh, are you getting yes. it or not? Yeah, uh, yes, uh, Namrata ma'am, everyone is excited and I'm sure they're all going to give it a try. Yes, StreamYard, yeah. we cannot uh, talk with our audience, but we can see how they are chatting and uh, they're all very excited. Okay. So it is really interesting to know what we can do with uh, MathPad to make math more interesting. Yeah, so now if this is XY, so I'm removing this. So everything, whatever was written was gone. So if I want to start teaching the graphs, so I'll show them the axis, uh, how to draw the lines. Then I can introduce this. That's you have to draw the numbers like this. These are the quadrant and so on. So this one is again removing the lines also. So this is a plain graph. So you can add the lines to, to show the plain graph and X, Y coordinates. So everything is seen now. Now, if I want to remove the grids, then also it is available for you. Now, if you want to draw these graphs in your and show it to your children as a solution, at that time, you can draw the graph here and take a snapshot the way I have taken it and use it in your PPT. So that will be better for you rather than drawing it with your hands and pencils and pens. You can draw it and just paste it. That is the best. So this will give you how to draw the graph. Then now for those who know degrees and radians, for higher standards, you have the angles and radians. So they have changed it. See, pi by 2 pi, 3 pi, 2 pi, and minus pi by 2 minus pi, 3 pi, minus 2 pi. So scales, you can arrange it from here, the way you want the steps. So pi by 2 is 90 degrees. So it is divided into three parts. So this is 30. Um, 90 divided by 3. So they'll, it is will divided into three parts and these will be the values which you can write. Now you have been pencil provided with the pencil to mark these points and show what are the values here and everything. So let me bring back the uh, radiance modes to uh, uh, now it is not allowing it is also marking that. So pen tool if I go want to get it removed, I'll just remove that. Uh, uh, just click that the same tab and it gets removed. So I'm just going back to degrees. Now, again, degrees is one to one, but now it is staying the, taking the same measures as earlier, which I've taken. So uh, just let me draw it quickly. I'll not take a lot of time for this. So minus five to five. Again, the major steps one. And this will be, let us say, point one. See, it is again giving me 90 only. So let me take it as one. So it is allowing me to draw this. Again, I can set up the values. 
0.5 they have taken so you can reduce it to 0.1 and that's it so your graph is ready now ready made graphs so let us see the ready made graphs here you can type your functions say i'm typing y is equal to 2x and just say add it is drawing the graph for you if i want to when i want to write the graph they are providing with the keyboard so if i want to draw y is equal to x square so i'll write y is equal to i'll type x from my keyboard and just use this x square and add so it is drawing the graph so you can show the intersection of two graphs on the same graph paper and see if this click i have told you i can't show you so this is allowing you to move change your scales all the time so if it is not visible it is changing the scale so you can see the intersection of your parabola and your line so this is the region which should be the common region for your parabola as well as line so this is how it is useful for everyone so let me stop with the graphing tool because there are lot to discuss with all of you and the way i'm going mad for this so I, i'll be sharing it for everything to you all so just give me a minute so these are interactive tools you can go on just exploring out on your in exterior angle theorem so the way you are doing it if i click on exterior angle it is opening now you can increase the number of sides your polygon is changing shrink your polygon walk around the polygon this thing which you use in cbsc board why the sum of exterior angle is 360 so you can just show this things to them see they are angle turned so they are giving you the angle so you can pause in between so what is the angle turn so how much is the major of that you ask them to add and they'll show you simply you can show them that the sum of angles of triangle is one uh, around the circle is 360 is it okay so am i going fast uh no ma namrata ma'am it is going great and uh, we can move on to the next uh, tool that you wanted to share yeah so i'll just quickly just take 5 minutes to explore sure. this to everyone sorry <laughs> so no decimal worries. block I can, i can see how excited you are to use this tool and i can even see how excited our uh, joinees are uh, uh, finding it so exciting to use so that's a yeah. great introduction to uh, a tool which maybe some of them have not used it but i see even educators who have been using it so, so please, uh, please feel free to share your ideas also yeah so decimal blocks for those who want to learn which are the beginners they can use this so this tool is for beginners if you want to say show that the circumference of a circle is uh, uh two times i means the way the relation between that that can be shown by this shifting time tables means like how to get the table of 2 4 6 and 8 that arithmetic se sequence is also shown here so please 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 explore this tool it is very interesting so i'll quickly go here for everyone what are the benefits for us which you all can grab so we we can yeah, we have we can touch all these things pupils tasks so these are the few things but these are not available for us because uh, we are not paying them anything so if you have to just think then you have to log in there now the few of the thing they will show you but few of the things are not available for us so teachers resources so when i'm clicking teachers resources just give me a minute it will it is taking time to reload now see teachers resources is a place value so topic booklet is free so when you open it see i am opening this core curriculum so everything is in your hand reading and writing in teachers and all the ways thing you can do that see everything is there so there are slides which are available see below one out of 32 so if i click on the next slide they are going to show you how the numbers are hundreds tens units and everything just go on exploring that so they are asking you the questions and you are giving them the answers you can just play this in front of the children they'll answer you uh, like there are 32 slides which are free for you all so please explore them these are worksheets which are available to you so let me take the see worksheets are also available for us topic booklet is available for us free so you can use them so worksheets reading and writing decimal so it is every everyone can use this see game is also there 
for all of you to ordering the decimals this game you can give you it to your children for playing then decimals numbers line many a times we face a problem of where this what is the this digit if it is one what is the corresponding number for this you can just give this worksheet to your children and the answers are also ready so you don't have to do this anything so you can just download this for you and get it so this is how this works so you can just go through all of them see quiz multiplying 10 across the numbers worksheet everything is available for us so please use this app uh, now starters are not uh, there for us interactive tools are the ones which we have explored right now then let me go back to the same page curriculum booklet so if you want to design your curriculum everything is there you can see that new so this is the new things which are they are offering everyone so those who do transformations and for higher education whatever you require these tools are also available transformations means transforming this block to the other part reflections all these things are available on this to generate a cuboid and everything but their cost uh, when has to bear so when you have to clicking the subscribe or something they'll tell you what is the subscribe now what is the cost so you can take it for your school or your personal membership they have put the cost if you don't want to take all these things no problem just use the free things for you all that is where i'm going to stop for maths pad right now uh, quickly can i share uh, uh, reshma ma'am can i continue for the next tool now yes yes of course you can continue and uh, we still have uh, 20 minutes to go we usually have one hour session but feel free to introduce one more tool so teachers have two at least different ways of uh, things to use so okay, um, I... and as you said there are a lot of free resources already on mathspad so explore mm. that first and then if you really find it interesting and if you are going to use it you can club together with your teachers or your school and uh, uh, check out the subscribe button but it is not mandatory we are only uh, focusing on what our educators can use for free right now yeah we generally use that technique only yeah, yeah that is so, true please move yeah. on so now this is a robo compass this is also a geometry tool where you can construct on your own and uh, it is a, like a programming thing what you want what you want to show it to the uh, children that thing so all the bigger children who are suppose uh, around 8 10 they can think of doing how constructions or they know the coordinate geometry everything they can do this construction or any simple person can do this constructions here so before opening uh, let us open the robo compass so when i am opening robo compass this is the interface you will see now when you first time you are going to join the robo compass just log in log in with your gmail id so here like uh, my nickname i am using kshama kanade so this is this is where your whatever creations you are going to create on robo compass is going to be shared see here when i'm clicking that it is showing me my files so if i'm going to construct anything on robo compass it will be stored here so my compass see i have done this constructions on the robo compass so it takes a lot of time for us to under uh, draw this constructions but today i'm going to just show you some basic things uh, with which you all can uh, start with and then it is your you or the own one who can explore your things so right now i'm just so whatever work you do is stored here that is the best first thing so always join the robo compass with your gmail id or if they are providing right now uh, i have logged in already so uh, it is not showing me the option but you have the option of doing that now let me show you first all the things which are there so now this is a full screen view so it is removing all the tabs from your screen and just giving you the full view of your graph paper in short now if i want to show it exit full screen you have to click it back now if i don't want to see these grid lines this eyes there just open it so no grid lines it like a plain paper so if i am showing uh, i am just clicking that it is showing me the numbers now this paper you can place it 2d so this is the way my graph looks is a straight thing so these are 
three uh, three buttons how they work now for all of you to start constructing or something i have few commands which i'll be showing you so suppose i want to plot a point here so what i'll do this is a command section so here i'm going to type my command so suppose i want to plot point 3 comma 2 so i'll just write point they are showing you everything see what are the functions which you are using so i'm taking point comma see now when i was writing here it was showing me the thing 3 comma 4 say and if i don't close the tab so now see on the screen they have shown me the dot so they will show you if i play click here it the pencil is going there and it is finding that point 3 comma 4 and showing it like this so this play button is for individual command so what are points i'm going to plot that points it is going to show me so this is the first point which i have plot 3 comma 4 suppose i want to plot more points so i'll take new command i'll write point comma say let me take any point i'm not uh, right now uh, means doing anything so point 5 comma 2 so it has drawn 5 comma 2 so again if i play this it is showing this so it is plotting the point now if i click this see are you seeing in the cross here and settings here is it visible to everyone na yes it is visible okay so when i'm clicking settings it is showing you the colors so if i don't want this red color i can please take any color here black suppose and you can show the labels uh, suppose show the label or show, show do not show the label you can type a comment here and x axis and y axis everything you can arrange it here and now here is the thing apply the speed to all so when it is drawing right now how the pencil went there and it has plotted that dot so i can increase the speed by just increasing it up if i want to apply it to everything then i'll just click apply to this to all so i have increased my speed so let us see how it is quickly drawing the point it is not taking lot of time so you can set your speed all around all on this show the label uh, right now it is uh, label is offset so if i'm writing suppose a point or let me write it as point a and say if i do that so let us see what happens see it is showing you point a above so this is the point a so now if i am drawing two points i want the label for this isn't it no two points are of no use to me so what i'll do i'll just write a is equal to say point 3 comma 4 so have you seen the label appeared here similarly if i write b is equal to point 5 comma 2 now i have done two points so the next step will be i'll be drawing the line so now you can write just you can simply type line bracket see now they are showing me when i have introduced the bracket they are just showing me the example x1 y1 x2 y2 so this example you can just give them the coordinates that is, is sufficient but right now i have drawn the two points a and b so what i'm going to write is their names a comma b and just do this so see they have drawn the line if you want to see this one again if i write say like i want to try draw the line then this let me take the now numbers for that matter 8 comma 9 comma 6 comma 3 this four points when i'm taking and just closing it see automatically it draws the line from this point to that point so i don't need to label them but when i'm showing it to everyone i usually use labels so i have just labeled this points so when i'm clicking it it is showing it to you how to draw so scale comes here and it draws the line now comes the angle isn't it so i have done the point line now let us draw the angle 
for suppose i don't know all these commands uh, the num means i am knowing it i have used it so so is she is great she knows that it is not like that everything is there with you all see here question mark how to so with how to this is supported commands for this thing so they are giving you drawing commands so what i want to draw all these commands are provided so if i want to draw point x comma y how you can write it if i want to line draw this line how will i draw it now suppose i want to draw the arc then how i'll write it everything the syntax is given here everything so right now i was telling you about angle so angle point 1 point 2 and degrees this is what i want to prove that so they have given me example angle a b 45 degrees comma 1 so 1 means it is going to draw the angle at point b and 0 means angle is drawn at angle a that's it that is what is the thing so i can use it any time if i don't know the figure, commands at all i can use this so let me do it so at angle say point point 1 i am taking it a comma b which angle i should draw so let us say i want to draw 105 degrees so i'll just write 105 now where i want to draw i want to draw suppose it at point 0 uh, at a so i'll write comma and just put zero there and just press the I means complete the command and just run it so it goes take the protractor it measures the angle marks the point and see uh, it will it has drawn now i have not drawn the line it has just marked the point so i can write a label for this suppose c is equal to this one so i have given you the point name also so now i have to just draw the line from a to c so i'll just type in the command line a comma c and done i have drawn the drawing drawn the angle this is how simple it is just remind me when the time is up so I, i'll wind off so now uh, there is a trick suppose i join bc also so line b comma c i have typed the b in capital and because we generally take the names of the angles with this so it has drawn the line for me so can i color this inside so there is a option suppose i don't remember the command so again i'll go to how to i'll just string fill a comma b so fill fill command you can use it for doing this so fill into bracket why if i want to draw this polygon or i can just write in the things so fill say fill you just write fill into bracket now see there to it telling me a comma b fill type or output 0 1 so let us type fill a now uh, i it is filling the a b uh, or can i write uh, here polygon polygon is a command for drawing the so let me do first polygon for all of you and then i'll do this this so let me take polygon so i'm going to draw the polygon for which i am just going to give you the comma separated points so i want to draw a point so see they have given you the example so point 2 comma 2 point 4 comma 2 3 comma 5 so if i don't use it i can just write so i'm taking the same example as they have taken 2 comma 2 comma 4 comma 2 comma say 3 comma 5 and just click it here see if i play it it is starts drawing the figure see now my constructions are overlapping because i have not uh, seen the uh, thought of which points to be taken so at that time suppose i don't want this point a to be appearing on my screen i can go on to the individual command here and there is a option of delete so it will get deleted is it okay so yes namrata ma'am uh, this is very exciting to learn and i think it will be very useful for teachers to actually create it on their side and also share it as a review for students so 
when we are doing it in the classroom sometimes the students don't remember later how, what were the steps so instead of just writing down one two three four do this do that i think having a live uh, play button like exactly how the robot has done it we can yeah. just share it with students to review the um, whole construction again correct so uh, namrita ma'am we only have uh, two three minutes so uh, is it okay if you can show us already prepared uh, uh, yeah. samples uh, here so yeah. teachers can see what all can be done yes so these are the basic commands which i have shown you so if i don't remember these these are the ready made examples for us we can pick it anything so if i am picking angle bisector so they have done it for us if you want to change the points you can change the labeling and everything you can do your construction so last i think which i want to show it to you this is this was it and you can save your construction suppose i have done this construction i'll save so let me go back to the my files and over there the earlier one right now which i have done was i have not saved it but suppose i can save it here so when i save it it automatically goes to shama kanade my files so now uh, you can go behind for the original site so here are the how the other uh, educators are using it so it is a gallery of so many persons as how they have created it the different graphs and everything on this and they have shared uh, showed it to the children and they are the projects made by the children so when you teach coordinate geometry ask them to make some designs like this so it will be fine for them see how pretty designs they have made they are learning computer here also as well as geometry and uh, simultaneously they are getting fun out of it so this is how the robo compass works and if you want to have a uh, how it works some booklet so here it is a documentation part here if you download this pdf it has all the instructions of how to use the robo compass so you all can use it Uh, that's it for uber compass right now perfect awesome uh, namrata ma'am so i'll call up uh, vishal sir and mukul ma'am also to share some thoughts about how the session uh, went okay okay namrata ma'am you can come back to the stream yard page brilliant, brilliant session ma'am oh, oh three three idiots ka dialogue yaad aa gaya जापना तुसी ग्रेट हो नहीं ऐसे कुछ नहीं ग्रेट इट इज इंडी देयर इट इज अ ग्रेट लर्निंग मैम आई मीन ज्योमेट्री है ज्योब्री है मींस एल्जेब्रा व्हाटएवर इट इज रोबो कंपास है और टूल्स जो है अपने स्क्वायर भी ब्रिलियंट आई एम नॉट अ मैथ्स टीचर मे बी माय मैथ्स इज नॉट दैट साउंड एज़ वेल बट टुडे आई कुड अंडरस्टैंड दैट दिस टॉपिक इज सो इजी टू लर्न जस्ट बिकॉज़ इट इज ग्राफिकली प्रेजेंटेड and it yeah. you can just point the you know just plot the points in front of the students and they can understand this how it works yeah. so, i know and even last year what i uh, and all all the teachers who were trying to teach the constructions because i remember in my school when we actually reach construction is one of the last chapters for 7th 8th graders yeah. so and that was the time when we got into pandemic and we were like we had no way how to teach construction because we couldn't show them the tool we couldn't show them how to hold the tool so drawing a angle bisector virtually like showing it on the screen and uh, where to put the point was so difficult i wish i had known this tool at that time but uh, yeah. nonetheless uh, it is a very very useful tool and i think that will make uh, it in interesting because when the students see it live how the teacher is doing and they do along with us so a yeah. uh, great session namrata ma'am and thank you so much for sharing these uh, uh, tools uh, with all of us and uh, thank you all of you for joining i have shared the feedback form with you and along with the email we will also share uh, our uh, other social media links for gg ji ahmedabad and pune now how did namrata ma'am contact us and how did we know that she knows all these tools Namrata ma'am is a member of GG Ahmedabad and Pune and she filled in the form to host with us right Dr Vishal yes yes so if mm -hmm. you would like to share really interesting tool with all the educators feel uh, feel free to fill in the form that i will be posting after this session sending it to all the emails and all our uh, GG uh, whatsapp groups yeah, yeah. so I Dr Vishal can yeah yeah want to say something 
thank you ji ji pune and jay jay ahmedabad for giving me this chance so that i can share whatever i know to my all colleagues which are there across the world uh, means it is a chance where i can uh, tell them how it works and yeah. everyone can take uh, teach their children in that manner the so pleasure it is, is a all great ours. feeling thank you the pleasure is all ours today we did not we not only learned about the math tool but we also learned about how passionate a math teacher can be and being a passionate math teacher how interesting you can make this topic or this subject to the students that is also what we learned today being at being in the field of education so really hats off to you hats off to your spirits of uh, you know teaching maths and the way you were so passionately engaged in you know explaining the tool and showing us the and demonstrating us the particular concepts of the tool it's really brilliant we we learned a lot not only about the tool but you know about how to teach them to the students so really ye teen tali ka maan bolte na isko in school we do it like this teen tali ka maan yeah perfect okay thank you so much uh, uh, everyone for joining thank you amukul ma'am namrata ma'am and vishal sir so yes. we will see you soon next week and have a good evening and uh, please do post uh, whatever questions you have to namrata ma'am so she yeah. will answer all your things yes. okay thank okay, you so much all of you bye bye thank you very much